Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So this session I uh, listened to the wiser me instead of the egotistic me and uh, I was happy that I had done that. It reminds me of a saying that my mother would tell me and she does still and I'll do my best to translate that into English from my mother tongue Nepalese. It would mean that a man without ego is not a man and a snake without a venom is not a snake. This would have a larger uh, application to most situation in life, I believe. I don't think that all sayings or everything that is being said is universal uh, in nature, but it, it cannot cover every situation. Uh, for example, is something that uh, is is as hard and tough like when you are lifting uh, ego is not the best way to go or at any time when you are uh, on a path to acquire a new skill or physical feat you just have to uh, be accepting that it'll, it'll take time and you just can't go uh, with uh, you know that I'll just get it done regardless of what happens and today it's going to get done and ego lifting is one such pitfall and uh, I'm finally happy that I've gone this way and just doing lighter stuff. This, I think, is 70 kg single. So um, going back to what is a very commonly referred thing in gym and lifting is that don't do ego lifting, but it is so hard to practice. Uh, I do understand if from my limited understanding that um, – the kind of side that is talking to us from inside has much more stronger voice. Uh, ego perhaps has more stronger voice and more bandwidth that we listen to uh, as opposed to the voice that is of the wise man inside you. Um, but it prevails anyway. It prevails because uh, we fail a lot and those failures could have been easily avoided. And then the wise man rises but yet at that point also the voice is still not so harsh or brute or loud like ego's voice could be so i did listen to the wiser me and uh, just went 60 kg 70 kg sets of five rather than attempting a big 90 kg press but having said that i think we are a great mixture of all types of emotions all types of uh, voices and it is not conducive anyway to just have one voice at all the times. I would have to develop certain sense that I listen to the most appropriate voice according to the context. And the context is that my left shoulder hurts me a little bit and it feels like it is not even there. In that context, there is just no point being so ambitious to try something heavy as 90 kg press. Same thing is going on with deadlift as well. I am doing uh, lighter, lighter, lighter deadlifts. And believe me, 200 kg is kind of lighter. Or it used to be lighter, I should say. So I almost every session... I just work up to a single of 200 kg deadlift and I leave it there. Look at me, I'm just checking out my shoulder. So uh, this is turning out to be a bit more of a philosophical chat. I was thinking that I do um, not talk much about my lifts, but I, in a way I do talk the mental side of the lifts, which I think is lesser addressed most of the time, uh, at least by most uh, people and influencers. How to tame this wild energy that you have? How to channel it? How to listen to the right voice as per the situation? I think it's a very subtle aspect of us human beings. And there is, as it is such a less, lesser known, lesser addressed and subtle aspect of us, there are a lot less people or mentors who are there for it. I'm not saying I'm that mentor, but my lifting, my journey and my road 
to 200 kg and 100 kg press has shown me that path. And I think every training, every pursuit that anyone has, regardless of whether you achieve it or not, should be able to show you that path that you have not known was there. And it is through the voices that exist within us that tells us. And we all know there is a wiser side, there's a mature side, and there's this untamed side, there's this brute side, this ego side. It is, it is entirely going to be situational and context-based as to which one do you have to listen to. But it is only possible if you stay on the path which I am. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll catch you in the next one.